Right mate, it's Slime here and welcome back to some more Smash Bros World of Light and at this point it's like what, episode 10 or something? And we're still in this area. So I'm going to try and hurry up or something. So last time we got um, Mega Man but we're not going to be immediately hopping over to Mega Man just yet. We're going to obviously want to show off every single character. So um, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> So you're going to have to wait if you want to see Mega Man, but you will be in this episode. Oh, this is fun. We can just, like, keep bouncing them into the distance. Well, if, if they stay completely still and spawn in the right area, that is. But they don't seem to be doing that. Oh! Oh, that didn't work. Get over there. Get kicked in the neck. I was going to say I think we brought Mr. Game Watch's neck there, but I mean... Does Mr. Game Watch really have a neck to break? <laughs> I'm not even too sure myself. I'm going to turn this thing on. And we get access to this room. And I'm kind of dreading that room for one specific reason. There's a spirit in there that is honestly one of the worst in the entire game. Quite possibly within the top five worst spirits, I'd say, probably. So we're going to open some more of these doors. See, that's the only one that we need to get at the moment. But I'm going to turn all these on as well. So we can get access to, you know, the other parts of the, the building and that. See, it's this one here, I believe. This is the one that always gives me the most trouble. But we're not going to do that one, we're going to fight this one instead. We're going to fight Rob64. As you can probably guess, that would imply there is at least 63 other Robs. So, um, let's destroy one of them. Make, it, make sure they don't get to Rob65. <laughs> and... What was the point in coming in, Fox? Fox just kind of like ran in and got punched in the mouth. <laughs> he did literally nothing in that entire fight. <laughs> I think he just wanted to be included. Oh, is it... No, that's the one. That's the spirit that I hate. That one's not too bad, actually. I was having a conversation with people recently about, you know, the stage um, Frigate Orpheum. And a lot of people agree that it's a good stage and that the the only thing that they dislike about it is either the gravity flip or... Drag him off the thing. Oh! I wanted him to be dragged off. It would have been really comical if he just, like, got KO'd like that. Oh, I wanted to like see if I could break a shield or something. Oh, I thought he was gonna bounce and hit him in the air. <laughs> but yeah, we were saying about that stage and saying, oh, we either dislike the fact that it's got like walk offs for like a part of the stage, or uh, the gravity flip. Now, I actually don't mind the gravity flip, I actually quite like the stage as it is. Now this is a um, a complete and utter nightmare. Let's see if we've got a specific spirit for this. I don't think we do actually. Just for now we'll go with this. And we can't even use the bonus thing either to like... Because there is one assist trophy in this fight that just aimbots you. And just spams bullets, so it just becomes a bullet hell, but imagine a bullet hell piloted by a Minecraft skeleton, basically. Also, you can't reflect the bullets either. See how I kind of can't do literally anything? These two aren't even doing anything. Meanwhile, Sheriff over here is just... Him. 
fully spam McMuck. I just like. <laughs> As it was sat down then, I kind of slipped forward on my chair because it's one of them chairs where you can rock back in there. That's why you can sometimes hear it squeaking some of the episode. And I was sat on top of me leg and I like twisted me foot. Ready? Like I said, this is one of the most annoying fights in the entire game. Because it's less of a fight between 9V and 18V and more of play the game but Sheriff shoots you repeatedly in the back of the skull while you can't do anything. Also, yeah, that really helps, doesn't it? I'm trying not to get shot by Sheriff, but... That proved to be a bit of a a trick. Look again, sheriff again. Continue. I mean, at this point, you you have to wonder why didn't they just make this the sheriff spirit battle? Because there is a sheriff spirit, and I actually don't have it right now. Ready? I know where it is though. Go! Yes, he's KO'd it. That's one of the good things about our um, assists are handled in this game now. It's that you can KO your own assist trophy. And there we go! Lads, we did it! <laughs> we did it because Incineroar punched his own guy in the head. <laughs> he just kind of like did a team kill or something. Sheriff was really the only thing there that was holding that entire spirit together. And Incineroar went in and slapped it one. Here we go, we've got um, Revolver Ocelot. Um, also more commonly known as Revolver Ocelot. Um, as you can see, um, he is represented by Fox. But <laughs> may as well have just... Um, Added Revolver Ocelot to the game so that Revolver Ocelot could have represented his own spirit, Revolver Ocelot. So after a few more hits, um, Revolver Ocelot will go down and we can claim the Revolver Ocelot spirit. But Revolver Ocelot is kind of making it slightly more difficult for us here because, well, well, no, it, it does not matter anymore because we have obtained the Revolver Ocelot spirit, which of course is Revolver Ocelot from the Metal Gear series and now that we have obtained Revolver Ocelot we can press this button that Revolver Ocelot was guarding for us well not for us, from us and Revolver Ocelot has now joined our team and I believe Revolver Ocelot is actually an enhanceable spirit and with Re Revolver Ocelot being an enhanceable spirit I believe you can enhance Revolver Ocelot into another Revolver Ocelot so if that's not enough Revolver Ocelot for you, I do not know what is. Anyway, we're in breaking our toes yet again. We've got some more skill spheres. We're not fighting that spirit just yet. Um, actually, let's swap on to Mega Man now that I think about it. We'll swap spirits anyway to... I don't know that. And we'll swap over to Mega Man because I did say I wanted to do Mega Man in this episode. So let's get our... Um, funny citrus fruit throwing robot boy here. Robot boy is a show that I used to remember like watching as a kid and I'm wondering is it inspired by Mega Man? I was annoyed that there was like in that show there was a kid with a square head, there was a fat kid um, and then there was a rich girl who, who if I remember correctly had they um, had their own mechs or something at one point. So this is annoying because um, Akira has like frame one inputs or something ridiculous and he just does not take damage from a lot of stuff. See I don't think Akira is actually as broken in his own game but then again I've never actually played a virtual fighter game. I've played Tekken which a lot of people said is fairly close but... You gotta watch out for Little Max, he's got the KO punch. Not anymore. Victory! And he took the KO blast to the front of the head. <laughs> but 
anyway, moving along, we've got a, one more switch to hand. Oh, is it two more? Might be, and I'm just dumb. Actually, it probably is because I am quite dumb. I have decided that very much recently. <laughs> Every single time I look at Bombman, I just kind of see a duck with a Moeek, <laughs> and I have no clue why I think like that. So anyway, there's one gone. I'm gonna just tackle this guy's ankles, or you know, just... Seeing as you bomb man, you might enjoy that. <laughs> Worked exactly as a plan. All exactly to whatever that one Japanese word is from the meme that means plan. What is it, Keihaku or something? Probably saying that wrong. Probably just insulted my Japanese audience if there is any. <laughs> I often hear about um, Juwon being just kind of a, a dumb fight. So I've not actually played that far into subspace. But anyway, um, hope I'll get the banana. <laughs> I swear, I think, I think now because of that one Delta Rune thing, everyone's just gonna think, oh well. They're gonna think of Delta Rune whenever they think of bananas, aren't they? <laughs> that worked perfectly as well. I just like the part where he's just like sliding under the what's it called the bullets. I love that. Actually, yeah, speaking of Delta Rune, I actually um, made someone in Soul Calibur the other day. Um, someone called Yosh on one of the servers that I'm in. Um, actually requested that make him Spamton G Spamton, also known as the number one rated salesman 1997 um, on Soul Calibur and I actually did that and as a little bit of a bonus I also threw in um, Spamton Neo as well and I had to do a little bit of trickery to get that to work because I only have um, Soul Calibur 6's, I was almost going to say Soul Calibur 5 but Soul Calibur 6's base game Meaning that I kind of don't have all of the crazy wacky customizations. So what's down here anyway? Yeah, we're gonna do that later. There's something else I wanna do in here before you know I move on to that. Aside from you know the, the Dr. Wily thing. Dr. Wowie! Every single time I think of Dr. Wily, I think of the Mega Man thing. When we got Snake's box. I love how there's a spirit for the box that the snake hides in. <laughs> there's something really comical about that and I love it. Ready? Go! Do you remember this being an annoying fight as well? And solely because of the super armor and just guns. But if we can get the guns away from it, which I think we have for one of them, just, I'm probably just gonna keep jumping in the air so that I can, you know. or maybe not because they seem to just want to spam. But yeah, that works. You got hit twice with the metal blade. I've never actually seen that before. But anyway, moving on. It seems like we've got a, um, a new challenger approaching over here. And wouldn't you know it, it's Snake himself. <laughs> Every single time I think of Snake, I think of that one, um, that thing where it goes something like, Er, Colonel. Big Burger, Colonel. Yeah. Ready? Go! <laughs> He's trying to escape getting, getting before he escapes by <laughs> launching him off the top. <laughs> I was going to praise myself for shooting the missile out of the sky then, but then I immediately jumped into it anyway. 
Oh, I wanted to do something like funny and cool then, but <laughs> didn't work out, did it? I was gonna like attack Snake in midair, but then I remembered that like, well, Snake's got infinite recovery range. You can launch Snake into the Andromeda back in Galaxy, and like two weeks later, you'll come back. He kind of jumped into his own bomb there. I don't know why I'm concentrating on this fight because it's not exactly anything. I only failed last time was because I was an idiot. Right, Snake, recover from that. <laughs> So, as per usual, we're going to be hopping over to Solid Snake now. And there's, I believe, only two more fights that we need to do in here. We have um, what's quite obviously a boss hiding in the corner. And then there's also the Dr. Wowie spirit that we've got to handle as well. So, for the boss, just to make it easy as all hell. No, not. Not character select, I want um, spirit select. We'll um, grab the strongest spirit that we've got. Not Roy. That's one thing I like calling stuff. I like calling stuff like when stuff is like almost close enough but it's not the same. I like calling like not something. It's like I picked it up from the Godzilla NES Creepypasta where they have um, not Varen and not Baragon and your know, stuff like that. Not uh, Gazora, I believe. I think that's the thing. I know one of them is like a. It's like a lamb of the backwards neck. And it's got a bird's head. And it shoots missiles out of its neck. But I just remember that. Let's see. Uh, see what funny stuff we can do here. This boss fight is actually one of the ones I find quite fun, to be honest. And it's probably because it is, you know, quite an easy fight, to be honest. And I only got hit by that because I threw my own bomb at myself. Oh no, he's gonna Donkey Kong me! I actually, I'm gonna be honest, I actually kind of won Gallium in Smash Bros. as a playable character. I don't think many people actually care that much for Galio. I'm gonna get killed by this guy after calling him easy. It's like the let's play curse, you can call to it easy and then you get destroyed by it like seven seconds later. Gonna just go for the big jump. And we're just gonna fly over him. Oh I thought I actually had killed him then with the bomb and the kick was gonna like annihilate him, but that just didn't pan out, did it? <laughs> kind of unfortunate really. Thought we'd done something like kind of cool there. Eh? a bomb set up into a big kick to the skull. Well, would it be a skull or would it be more like metal? Big kick to metal? Of... I was going to say the robots have skulls but some of them kind of do because I believe like doesn't Mega Man have like some kind of like half titanium half ceramic skeleton or something? I don't know. It's some Mega Man lore or something. Mega Man lore is kind of all over the place, to be honest. So, um, the Leem is getting angrier. So, um, we'll, we'll just ignore that for a second, because it doesn't seem like he's going to be taking any, any action time soon. So, um, let's run over to uh, Dr. Wowie. 
This is going to be fun, isn't it? It's going to take up the next 20 minutes of this video, which is already 19 minutes long. Absolutely fantastic, I'm going to say. Oh, we'll level up him, Sagat, in preparations for this. I will use his funny knees to our advantage. It only makes sense if you know what he looked like in Street Fighter 1. So only really the people who would have seen the, like, what was it, two, three episodes ago now? Um, what kind of fight is this actually? Is this that? Yeah. So um, we're going to put um, that guy on. And I'm probably also going to go with that as well. Just so that we have like a little bit of a... Well at this point it may as well just call it a rage. <laughs> Absolutely deserve that. <sighs> Finally! Took only 10 minutes. Anyway, with that done, um, I guess we will um, finish off the episode here. And if you um, do that thing where you like stuff and the like, I will see you guys next time. Bye!